right, so in today's entry, we are coming to you live from Silverwood Theme Park in Idaho. Apple? Atoll. Atoll. Hey, watch your mouth, dude. I don't know how to pronounce it. All right, so come along with us. We'll show you around uh, Silverwood and all the fun stuff to do. At Silverwood Theme Park, their slogan is, be a kid with your kid. Or in Kim and I's case, since we don't have kids, just have fun without kids. That's what we do. All right, so the one cool thing about Silverwood is your admission gets you into uh, both a theme park and a water park. So you can choose to spend a day however you like. Uh, like today, we'll probably be going to the theme park first, doing a couple quick roller coasters, and then heading over to the water park. It's nice because depending on the weather, if things change, like right now it's windy, so we don't want to go to the water park first. We can change up our day however we want it. Located in beautiful North Idaho, Silverwood Theme Park has over 70 rides, slides, shows, and attractions, including four roller coasters, Boulder Beach Water Park, a steam engine train, live entertainment, restaurants, beautiful gardens, and more. All right, so we're getting ready to go on our very first ride of the day. It's called Tremors. All right, so we just got off Tremors. That is the most intense wooden roller coaster that you'll probably ever go on. It's worth coming here just to go on that thing. And the cool part about it is it actually goes through the gift shop. Alright, so we just got off Timber Terror. And that is the second wooden roller coaster here. And the cool thing about that one is it has a lot of drops. whoop de doos whoop de doos exactly. So I wouldn't do it right after lunch. <laughs> But if you enjoy roller coasters that take your stomach out, yeah. lift your seat off. Uh huh. <laughs> that one's probably got a good five drops that do that. So that one's really fun. If you enjoy roller coasters, that is. Now, we're going to take you to the most intense roller coaster here, Aftershock. And you'll see why here in just a moment. All right, so this is called Spin Cycle. And Kim's on that right now. She loves these rides that just twist around and go upside down. She's like a little kid, it's nuts. So Kim, what do you think? Yeah, no, I'm not on that ride. <laughs> not gonna happen. Come on. Away, Take today. one for the team. Nope, nope. Take one for the video. I've done plenty of other things for the team. For all of you watching this video on Silverwood, should you do it, raise your hand. I have a feeling everybody's raising their hand right now for you to do this. Nope. Not gonna happen. All right, what are we on? On uh, the log flume. Yeah, we're ride. on the log flume ride. Whatever it's called. Yeah, we forgot the name. So rumble. We'll... I don't know. We keep saying rumble. So... Yeah, you ready to rumble? <laughs> I'm ready to rumble. Are you ready to rumble? I think we're ready to get soaking wet. Oh gosh. <laughs> luckily. First water ride of the day. Yeah, luckily we're going to the water side next. So we plan on doing this log flume and then we're gonna go do the rapids. And then that way we're already soaked. So then when we go to the water ride, we'll be fine. Hey. Oh, chilly. Yeah, and a little tip for you. If you can, try to come here on a weekday. Yeah, no. Common sense, right? But uh, it gets very busy on the weekends here, especially because it's only open so many days out of the year. Be in Idaho, right? The weather's not fantastic all year long, like it would be in Florida or California. So make sure you check your schedule, and if you can do it, do it during the week. Okay, here we go. Oh, now we're gonna get it. Here comes that stupid splash. Oh, here it comes. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
tastes like urine. <laughs> they said you will get wet so unless you want to walk around in soaking wet shoes like we're doing right now and soaking wet clothes make sure it's warm and make sure you do it either later in the afternoon or first thing so you can dry off do it, or do it right before you head over to Boulder Beach which is what we're doing so we already have our suits on and now we're gonna go play in the water Boulder Beach Water Park is one of the largest water parks in the Northwest and is part of Silverwood. Many families choose to spend a whole day playing in the water with another day devoted to the rides and attractions at the theme park. However you divvy up your time at the park, you'll find plenty to keep you busy at Boulder Beach. There are two giant wave pools, a lazy river, kid splash pads, four twisty tubes, and two family style raft rides. There's something here for every age group from high speed water slides to the geyser fountains of Tyler Springs. Parents will appreciate floating on the lazy river with a cool beverage in hand. There's also plenty of places to relax, grab a bite to eat, and just enjoy the sunshine. Bye! Where'd you just come out of? A little candy shop, because I don't know, we always go to a candy shop when we go places. Hi, it's me. I like hot stuff. Oh, one Where's of these the is not like one? the other. <laughs> Habanero chocolate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, right. Nothing's hot to you. 
Oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's got a kick to it. I might even kill Yeah, your face is kind of turning a little red. I was going to try to be like a good actor and act <laughs> out like it was hot. But that's damn hot. Oh, man. That hurts. You're not getting any water. <laughs> I don't have any water. You're in the backpack. <laughs> that's got a kick. All right. Our last night, 8 o'clock, we're on a train ride. We're going to do it in the dark. Yeah, that needs to come out right. <laughs> We're gonna take, take a train. train ride in the dark. <laughs> and then we both said it, so obviously it's I see you uh, in it's the wheel. So a little bit of history about the steam train. The Port of Steam locomotive began life in 1915 as Eureka, Nevada's second number seven. It ran from Eureka, Nevada to Palisades, Nevada between mines, hauling miners and equipment, and served in that capacity until 1938 when Eureka, Nevada ceased operations. When the engine was at auction in 1986, the price reached $250,000 and only two bidders were left, Walt Disney and Gary Norton, the owner of Silverwood. When the bidding war ended, Gary Norton won the train. After the purchase, Gary Norton went back to his residence and began laying down tracks. Gary Norton felt that his train set would not be complete without a little town to go with it. Every detail of Main Street was deeply thought out. He hired an in-house contractor and local craftsman to create all the intricate woodworking details that went into each building. Each door was built from solid wood in a carpentry shop, and the fireplaces and ornate mantles were expertly handcrafted. Alright, so I am not going to do this ride, but I'm not going to make Kim sit here for an hour and wait by herself. Please but I might, for you two, and the I might do it. Well, no, nobody would see you. How do you mean they won't see me? Because you can't take that with you. Yeah, yeah but I can just tell them they know I'm going to lie to them. Okay. Or will I? <laughs> okay, so this kid in the red sweatshirt is not happy about this. He's contemplating his life right now. He's thinking he's going to get off. Is he going to do it or not? It looks like me on this ride. Oh, he's going. Oh it's going so slow. <laughs> All right, I did it. He actually did. I took the panic plunge. It was 60 seconds straight up into the air with a rattling, <laughs> rattling cage. I could see my car. I could see my house. I could see Russia in a, a two second drop. My heart rate. Damn it. I my resting heart that. rate is 55, and I probably got to 104, 105. My resting heart rate is 100. I probably got to 350. <laughs> Farewell from Silverwood. Until next time, safe travels. Safe travels.